What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I reached into the bucket of locks I got from Bobby Keys, and I got this Abel. It says stock on the back. So, um, while it may say stock on it, I have my doubts, because, well, we have uh, some set screws up on the top here, which usually means somebody's been in there. Um, normally they don't come like that. And also, when I turn it upside down, it has a very big hitch right in the middle. Almost like a T-pin or something is in there. Um, you know, maybe some locks come stock with T-pins, but normally uh, you get a kite mark and they are smooth as glass. But this one is not. So I have my doubts as to uh, whether this is actually a challenge lock or not. But, we will get it in the vise and we will find out. Because, it's got to be something. And we will find out. Alright, so, let's make sure it still works here. Yep. I'm going to use top of the keyway. But, uh, since it's a Yale type, and it's a little thinner than I'm used to, I won't be able to use my standard top of the keyway, so I'm going to use this, uh, this is just a bike spoke that I've hammered flat and bent. And uh, it offers me pretty good control over this core. So, I'll use that, and I'll use this uh, medium type hook here, so I can round the corners, as I like to do with these Yales. And let's see what's in here, guys. Right, right to the back, got a false set out of five. Uh, feedback on one here. Got him set. Uh, a little bit more out of the back, maybe four. Offering me some feedback now. Alright, got him. Got a really good full set right now. Really good. Alright, that was three. Just touched two and I got a tiny click out of him, but I think I was just falling into the spool. Spool here on two. Got him. And three, and we're open. All right. So it seems like uh, one standard and a bunch of spools. That's what it felt like to me. The standard, I believe, is on four or five. Um, well, it's a six pin lock, so probably on five, and then six was a Another spool, because I thought I felt the spool in the very back, but uh, let's see what's in this TriStar uh, Slosher Security. So, um, my main pitting board is being used right now, so I'm going to use these. I saw these in uh, Walmart, and I thought they'd be great for uh, temporary pitting boards. So I make a lot of challenge locks and stuff. I like to lay them out. Uh, before I actually make them. Sometimes I have stuff sitting on pinning boards for a while, so I thought these would make good temporary pinning boards. They are rubber uh, carpet cups, they call them, and it's just for putting your furniture on uh, so it saves your hardwood floors or whatever. But uh, as you can tell, there's five bucks. So as you can tell, they're nice little pinning trays. They're nice and deep. Everything's going to stay in there. You got your ridges to keep your pins. It's about the exact right size. They're kind of heavy and decent and flat. Like, they're not going to go anywhere. So, I thought they'd make uh, pretty good temporary pinning trays. And I am going to try them out. So, we have a uh, regular clip. Which is good. I might lock this up to uh, make it easier.
Nope, don't have to. Right on. And I don't think there's going to be a T pin or anything in here. Although it did feel a little odd. I'm going to run a shim in here just to make sure, guys. Even though it is a apparently a stock lock. Um, usually when it catches a little bit, that means T-pin, but I really doubt there's a T-pin in here. It might just be, uh, you know, it's an older lock. It's been picked a bunch. And... All right. So we got all six pins in. And working good. All right. Let's see what's in here. And that's actually pretty nice. These pins, uh, besides the corrugation of this mat, make the pins stick right in there. Like, I can turn this thing upside down. Those pins aren't falling out. <laughs> that is awesome. Looks good for when you're showing off pins, I think. So far I'm liking this pinning mat. Um, the edges are a little deep, but I think that's nice. So uh, if you bump it around and stuff like that, nothing's spilling off of it. Those are key pins. They're all standard. Uh, there is no counter milling or anything in the chambers, which is odd because this is a uh, kite mark, a three, three star kite mark, which usually means they do a lot of stuff to these, but uh, this so far is nothing special. So let's see what else we got up top. Maybe this is where all the magic is. Spool and one. That is a steel spool and one for our anti drill, I guess. And we do have anti drill pins in the plug here. So. Does have anti drill protection. That's something you would expect out of a kite mark, especially a three star kite mark. So far, these are just all steel spools. Okay, that is a T pin. I don't think that's. Oh, what the hell is that? Guess that is stock. It's a spring loaded T pin. What the hell is that thing? Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't even know if that was in the right direction. It came out like this, guys. With the spring facing down. So, jeez. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. That is, uh, that is weird. I don't even know what that's called. I uh, don't even know if it's stock or not. What the hell is this? Okay, this has an inner portion. This is a pin and pin driver. What the flying? All right, I'm not too sure, guys. I am not sure. We'll take a look at this closely in a sec here. Oops, they went there. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. No, they're not all the same. This one was shorter. To accommodate the long, weird pin, I'm sure. Very strange. And then last, probably another spool, because that's what it felt like. Yeah. All right. Uh, I love being surprised still, guys. After, after about a year of picking locks, uh, not much was surprising me anymore. Even challenge pins and stuff, but... This one's got a little surprise in here. I have no idea what is up with this pin, guys. This cool pin board. So, uh, the one that I was really weirded out about is uh, this one right here. Number four. As you can see, he is spring-loaded. And uh, I guess it's a T-pin. I'm not sure if that's the way it was supposed to go. It must be because the spring goes that way. So, um, yeah, 
very very strange uh, and then this one here number four or sorry five is a uh, pin and pin so it actually fits inside of that really nicely not sure why um, just don't know what that would do I uh, guess it falls down if you're picking it it falls down and then acts as a t-pin after but uh, didn't really do much for the picking I mean wasn't all that hard uh, so we got our four spools all steel all our standards on the bottom and then our weird spring-loaded whatever you would call this thing and four and then five was our uh, pin and pin pin of weirdness not sure what's up with that anyway guys that is what's in Abel um, Schlosser security so that is uh, yeah that was very weird pretty good bidding uh, yeah if anybody knows what's up with that let me know <laughs> all right guys thanks Bobby locks for this or Bobby keys for this lock Thank you all for watching. Later, guys.